Um, so the realty, this is Mike. Oh, hi. Um, I have a, a question. I, I'm an, a tenant here at the apartments. Oh, which which one? An apartment two. And what's your name? Uh, my name is Roy. And How can I help you, Roy? I, I'm just the power company wanted me to get permission to rewire the power box. Um, they want I want to make it so I can sell power back to the electric company. They they said they're fine with me doing that. I just have to get permission from the apartment owner. I don't think our apartment's set up for that. Yeah, yeah the electric company would come over and rewire it, and I'd um, pay for it to be rewired. I don't think so. Because I'm generating a lot of electricity from my apartment, and I just needed to doing sell. what? I'm sorry, what? What are you doing in your apartment? Uh, it's just to sell um, you know, electricity back to the electric company, and that way I'll get a credit on my bill instead of... I don't think that's an allowable use in the apartment. Oh, no, they they say it's okay. It's, it's like a program. It's for being green or whatever. Okay. Here's what I'm telling you. Uh-huh. I don't think that's an allowable use for your apartment. It's for residential use only. Oh, well, yeah. It's uh, not for generating electricity. Well, I generate electricity. That sounds like a problem for our insurance company. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, it's it's all safe and everything. We just... We're just... We're so using, here's we're, what I'm going to ask. Okay. What's your last name, Roy? Rick Royerson. We we we, we make the electricity with water. We just How leave, do you spell that? we leave the water running twenty four hours a day, and it goes through a turbine. That cost me a bunch of money. Well, yeah, you we don't cease and desist that immediately. We we don't pay for the water here though. So and, I and pay it, for the water. Right, but it makes electricity, so it makes everything cheaper because our electric. No, it doesn't. It does not. You know, we have our fridge hooked You're up. You're stealing the water from me to make electricity. Uh, so if you don't cease that, we're we're not stealing it because be it's free. The water's free it, here. The water's not free. Where do you get free water? F- from this apartment. I don't pay for the water. I pay for it. The guy you're talking to. Right. So you're gonna you're gonna have me pay for it, and then you get electricity. Well, we're paying rent, and water's included. That doesn't. In- that does. It's not. It's not water for generating electricity. It's water for household use. Well, water is included in the rent, though. and, and we're not water for generating electricity to sell. Okay, we don't have to sell it. We're just using it like we're, we're powering our fridge with it and just all the appliances and the microwave. Okay. Uh, if you don't stop this immediately, you will be asked to move. Well, it's not against our lease rules or anything. I didn't see anything it in the lease. It will be. By the end of today. You're going to change the r- rules because we already signed I'm, the lease. I'm, I'm actually really serious about this. I, I'm serious, too. Like, I, I thought we'd be able to just sell power back to the electric company using our hydroelectric plant. You probably have no idea how insane this actually sounds. I thought it was completely normal. I mean, we just it, It's completely abnormal, and it's completely ridiculous. O- over the summer, we've been, um, we, we made an air conditioner. Out of uh, just copper tubes, and we I will ran, be doing an investigation of the water usage there. We ran copper tubes and have cold water streaming through it. Like we've been running the water all summer. You haven't noticed an increase, have you? That's because they don't send me the bills. Well, so you don't pay for it then. I do pay for it, but they don't send you a bill, but you still pay for it. It doesn't make sense. I have a management company that takes care of the bills. So now I will be investigating this to find out just what the hell is going on. So you don't even but pay you, for it. You, you, will, you told you me will you were pay- asked to move. You told me you were paying for it, but you don't even do I it. I am paying it for it. It comes out of my pocket, and this conversation is over. You need to cease and desist immediately, well, and you most likely will be asked to move anyway. Well, we can stop if it's a problem. You need to stop today. It oh. is a problem. Okay. And you need to stop right now. We've got a re- water reservoir. You need to stop right oh, okay, now. Okay, but we still have the water reservoir. It's a residential use apartment. It is not for generating electricity. Right. We are residents here. and it's, Okay. You used to be residents there. But, we, you know, it's just We're to power the fridge. We're going to determine how long that's going to be right now. You don't have to be a jerk about it. I'm just trying to... I've I just called to ask nicely. I just... Right, fi- and, and you you don't seem to understand. The first three times I told you to stop, you said you were going to continue. Okay, I, so I said I would louder stop. every time that you don't understand it. I said I would turn the water off, but we still have a water reservoir in the bedroom, so we can use that water, right? There shouldn't be any water reservoirs either, so uh, but I'll get to the bottom of this yet today. We've already filled it up with the water from the apartment. We fill. It's that, like that creates a hazard and an insurance issue too. But it's three hundred cubic feet, but it's in a really strong tank. There's no chance of it leaking. 
but we use Why that. Do you have a three hundred cubic foot tank in the apartment? It's it's a water reservoir. It's for the hydroelectric plant. You should not have a hydroelectric plant in your apartment. Okay, but I mean it's already there, and we don't have to run any more water until we could just use it up to just to finish generating electricity, and, and then the you know the water will be gone. And I think I mentioned more than once already that you are not to be generating electricity in your apartment. I thought you just said we had to stop using your water because and. and and that it's not for commercial use, like generating electricity. Well, it's not commercial. Yeah, residential, it's... residential use only. We're we're not going to sell it back to the power company. You, you already it's told me creating, I couldn't. It's still creating problems that you know could be hazardous to the rest of the building. Okay, I don't see how. It's just water. Okay, we're done. It's not like we're making hydrogen. You're not listening very well at all. Okay. If you don't like living there, you don't have to live there. I love living here. Why do you say I don't like living here? Well, because you don't seem to be understanding what I'm saying. Well, very you're well at you're all. the one contradicting yourself, saying you pay for the electric and then you say you don't. I you pay, pay for the electric and the water. I know, and but then you said you don't. You said a management company pays for it. So I feel like you're just they, lying they to me. They write the check. You asked why I hadn't noticed the bills. I said they write the checks. Well, maybe you need to watch it's your finances money. better than I, you do. I, I really don't need to be having this conversation any further. We've been doing it for th- three or four months now. That's good to know. Thank and, you. And, and you don't even notice your ele- your water bill? Thank you very much. I think you're an asshole. London Square Apartments. Hi, I'm sorry. I called a minute ago and I couldn't hear. My phone was messed up. <laughs> yeah, no problem. What, how can I help you? Oh, I'm just having a... Pr- um, I, I had a question. I'm a tenant here at London Square. Uh-huh. And I was wondering if I could, um, I need to rewire the electrical panel. Like, I, I need to have the electric company come in and, and install, like, a few more electrical boxes and a substation. For what? Uh, just so we have more power. We're going to have a 3,000 amp line with 240 volts. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about that. Let me put you on hold for a second, okay? okay. What apartment number are you in? It's 80 amps. This isn't cutting it. Uh, 315. 315. Okay, and what's your name, dear? Roy. What is it that you're needing to do in the apartment that the amperage that we have isn't allowing you to do? Oh, we we run a lot of lights, production lights. For we we make movies and we need lots of overhead lighting. So the lighting's got to be perfect. Yeah, we we can't allow we can't allow someone to come in and add or take away from the amperage. Oh, well, the electric company said they can do it though. They said it's no problem. Yeah, but the um, owner won't allow that. Oh. What if we give him, like, a cut of the porn films we're making? Yeah, I, I seriously doubt that. Uh, we, we could pay more rent. It's, it's, it's against the rules. I just spoke with the manager. Uh, okay. Okay? Oh, also, we're having, like, a leak problem with, on our bathtub. Your bathtub's leaking? Well, it's overflowing. It's been overflowing for, like, days now. Like, cause we Is leave, it not draining, right? Yeah, I think the drain got stopped up. Because we, we, we leave the shower running all the time just to help with the cleaning. So, like, right now, it's currently overflowing because we don't shower. You sh- leave the shower on all the time to help with the cleaning. Yeah, it, it cleans the bathtub for us so we never have to get in there and scrub ourselves because it just, we drain, the water is just running 24-7, like, all day and all night. Um, well, that's going to cause a very huge bill. Well, not for us because the water is paid, so it's all right. Well, I... Again, don't think that that would be all right with the owner. Um, they're not intending because we pay the bills to allow you to run your bathtub all day long so you don't have to clean it. Well, it didn't say we couldn't do that in the lease or anything. Okay, Roy, I will make a work order about the tub not draining. H- has your bill gone up? Like the co- um, I'm, Today's my first day here, so I really don't know. Yeah, because, I mean, we just leave it running all the time. It's running right now, but it's overflowing under the floor. Okay, well, you'll want to turn it off if it's overflowing onto the floor, please. But it, it, that'll, it will stop cleaning it if I turn it off. I need you to turn the tub off, Roy. Okay, I'll, I'll go in there. It. Like, I got to put on shoes and stuff because it's so, like, the f- floor is just covered with water and, like, all the carpet and everything outside in the hall. What's your phone number? 752-3849. 3849? Y- yep. Okay, I'm going to speak with Debbie, and I will get a work order for the tub, and if I need to call you back, I will. 
Okay. I, I'm not even uh, home right now, so like when I get home from work, I'll probably turn the shower off. Well, I'll send somebody over to turn the shower off now if it's leaking onto the floor. Okay. Well, tell him not to touch the studio lights. All right, Roy. There, There's a lot of lights and stuff. He's going to have to duck when he comes in because they're just hanging from the ceiling and everything. All right. Thank you. Uh-huh. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thanks for calling the Woods of Eagle Creek. This is Dana. How may I help you? Hello. Um, I'm a tenant here. Uh-huh. And um, I was just, uh, I, I needed to find out if, does like maintenance have uh, tools and and like spackle and two by fours we can borrow? We're having like a problem with our wall. A spackle? Yeah. Like, you know, joint compound putty. Okay. If, if, if save, you know, just uh, theoretically, if, we had like a giant garage door size hole in the wall that wasn't supposed to be there. Uh huh. Okay. We need a bunch of spackle to to repair it. Okay. Um, it, I will have to double check with them to find out if they have it. Oh. Um, what's the address that you're at? Oh, I'm not giving that out. If you guys come over here, we'll be kicked out for sure. Okay. I mean, what's the phone number for me to give you a call back then to let you know? Three one seven two five three nine. Okay, and then what was your name? Roy. Okay, let me find out from them if I um, have that to give you, and then I will give you a call back. We're having a problem with our ceiling collapsing also because of the, it was a load-bearing wall that we removed. So, like, the ceiling is kind of caved in, and we can see up into the next level. Okay. Kind of into the attic area. Oh, it's a mess. Okay. I'll have to talk to them and find out. Yeah, I think it's going to take a lot of spackle to get the ceiling to move back up. Okay. I will, like I said, I will double check with them to find out what they have available for us to be able to give to a resident. Okay. Is it going to be soon? I mean, like, because it's making these creaking sounds, and I, I just feel like the whole thing's just going to just... Okay, well, um, if that's um, an issue that you're concerned about, that's something that we need to send maintenance over there for. I'll just stay in the kitchen until I hear back from you. Okay. Okay, thanks. Bye. Bye. Good afternoon. Thank you for calling the crossings of Oak Brook. This is Bonnie. How may I help you? Hi. I'm having a problem in my bathroom. I'm a tenant here. Okay. What apartment are you in? Seven. Apartment what? Seven, seven, C. 207, is that what apartment you're in? 207, that's the one. Is that it? Yeah, definitely. Oh, what was I thinking? And what's going on? Um, okay, so I have a, a model, like a, a rainforest in my bathtub with trees and dirt and all the animals and stuff. And um, I guess the some of the dirt was going down the drain. I didn't think it was because I leave the shower on 24-7 for the rainforest. And um, it got stopped up and it overflowed and it's been overflowing all night. I just woke up. And what's your name? Roy. Roy? Yep. And I'm, I don't know what to do. Some of the animals are dead. Well, then that's something you would have to take care of, Roy. Because I know you do not live in that apartment. I, I stay on the couch. But what I'm saying is my rainforest is flooded, and it's flooded out onto the bathroom floor and everything, and it's quite a mess. Well, here's the problem. You don't live in the apartment. Uh -huh. You're not a leaseholder. So you need to get a hold of whoever it is that you live with and have them call me here. Oh, I, I signed a lease with uh, Lysaw. He's the guy that's renting to me. What's he's, the name? His name's Lysaw. He rents out his couch. I don't have anybody by that name. What's well, his street name? I don't know his real name because... Um, I'm not going to give you that information. I'm not asking for any information. Why, why, why are you saying that? Well, you asked me what his name was. No, I didn't. I that. never said that. I, d I told you what his name is. And I said, I don't know his name. It's his street name. I never asked you what his name was, and I don't want to know. So okay, the apartment that you're referring to, I know for I know them. They've come in here before. They've never once mentioned somebody living on their couch. You're going to need to give me a little bit more than that. Well, he wouldn't mention it if it's against your policies or whatever. Well, then obviously you need to get a hold of him and have him call me here. Okay, but I mean, you're not. You don't care about this whole bathtub overflowing thing. Well, if it's overflowing, then I'm sure the apartment beneath you would be having an issue. Yeah. Should I turn off the shower, you think? I would recommend it. Okay. 
And you said you're in apartment 207? Yeah, and there's like all these, the animals inside the rainforest are dead. Well, that's yeah. something you'll have to fix. That's not something we are going to fix. Yeah, I can we tell you're not a very com- compassionate long. person. You just think like, you know, oh, lower life forms, who cares, whatever. My rainforest is ruin- ruined and the animals are dead. Why do you have a rainforest in your shower anyways? In Art, man. I was just trying to do something good. Rainforests are good. And the animals well, really liked it. Generally, it's not something that you do in an apartment. Yeah, most people don't, but maybe I want to think differently. True. All right. Well, I'll go ahead and call the apartment that's beneath you to make sure they're not having issues. Okay. I really appreciate you sitting there and yelling at me a bunch. That was great. Very professional. Well, why Good don't job. you have the person that lives in the apartment call me and let me know that there's an issue? And I'm more than happy to send my guys up to fix whatever the clog or issue is. Okay, we're going to rebuild the rainforest, you know? We're not just going to not have a rainforest. You guys pay for the water here, right? No, you guys do. Oh, fuck. Whatever. I mean, we can afford it. We're making so much money from meth. We can afford anything. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Make more than you do. Like, more than you make all week. That's what we make in a day. I'm glad to hear that. Good for you. Yeah, I can tell you're jealous, but whatever. I mean, if you're just you just want to yell at me the whole time, so I don't All care. right, well, whoever you live with, why don't you have them call me so I can get a maintenance request put in? Oh, what's his name, by the way? Whose name? The person that I live with. I'm not going to give you that information. You should know the person's name that you live with. I just call him Lysaw. Well, I can't help you with that. I don't really care what his name is. I just wanted to hear you blow up at me again. Okay. Bye, jerk. Bye. Thanks for calling College Courts. This is Joan. How can I help? Hi, I need to find out. I'm a tenant here at College Courts. And mm-hmm. I needed to find out if I um, I needed to get your guys' permission to... Um, I, I need to wire up this place for like a lot more electricity. I was going to have the um, electrical electric guy come over and add a couple fuse boxes in. A couple extra breaker boxes. Ooh. Okay, you have to hold on, and I, we can do, like, cable boxes, but why do you have to have more electricity? Uh, I just, I keep blowing breakers. We have, a, like, a lot of lights, like, really high-power lights, like, hanging, like, lots, okay. like, two two bedrooms uh, full Can you hold on? You're going to have to talk to Nancy Harvey. Lights okay? all over the ceilings, and then, like, professional. Yeah, she's a, the manager manager. Okay? So many lights. Okay. This is Nancy. Hi. 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 Oh, I'm a tenant here at College Courts. I'm just trying to find out um, because if I needed to get your guys' permission for uh, when I wire up like several more electrical panels, we're going to call an electrician Mm. and have him do it. And why is that? Why why do you need to do that? We have a lot of grow lights and we keep blowing breakers here. They keep shutting off. You have a lot of what? Grow lights. You know, like for growing plants. The whole apartment is just mm. completely filled with grow lights, but um, hmm. we we can't run them all at once. You know we're having to do them in shifts, and it's really it's cutting down on production. We just needed to f- we need to wire in like several more electrical I panels. Mean, what kind What kind of plants? I mean, what do you What oh, is it? No, don't worry about it. Just you know, it's lots of grow lights, and they they require a lot of extra power. Well, I will worry about it. <laughs> yeah, I will. <laughs> because, I mean, no, we don't normally grant permission to do something like that. Okay. I mean, I have to know what it's for. Well, it's for growing things. And we have lots of grow lights. And they just they eat up a lot of power. But we're trying to expand it into the, the other bedroom, too. But we can't because we keep blowing breakers. Well, I mean, it almost sounds like, I mean, you're running a business or something oh, like I w- out of the apartment. I wouldn't say that. We're not, like, registered or anything like that. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'd probably have to send the maintenance man over to look, and then we'd have to contact our home office because I, I doubt that they're going to have grant permission. But, okay. I mean, we'll just do it on the DL then. We just won't say anything. Let's bring in an electrician, and he can do it quietly. No, no. Well, what's the address? Oh, well, I'm, if you're not going to do it, it's probably best. I mean, you don't seem to Well, approve. I didn't say I wouldn't. You I'd have to check with my home office. You said he probably wouldn't, so I think it'd be better if we just get the electrician on over, and 
you can start wiring things up. We're going to have well, like. I wouldn't do that because we come in and do inspections, and if we see you've done that, I mean, you'll be in more trouble if you do it behind our back. We're going to have we... three breaker panels, three extra breaker panels, you... two hundred and twenty volts on each one. Well, I need the address so we can oh, come look. No, no, no. You said you couldn't do it, so. I didn't say that. Well, I you you said I it's couldn't. very unlikely, and you'd have to call the home office, and this sounds like a big hassle. And, and, but you know and what? You're We're going to find out anyway I, because I, we rotate the buildings and go in and do inspections. No, so I, we, we change find... we change the locks, and you say we can't even run a business. in That there. doesn't mean a thing. And it's that not doesn't even, mean anything. It's not we'll even a real. It back. It's not even a real business. We're not paying taxes or anything. <laughs> and then you're saying if we you can't change the lock. You're going to be even in more trouble. Okay, so you're not supposed to change the lock without our permission. It, it's my apartment. I can change the locks. It's inside. No, you I can't. can do anything it's I want inside apartment. my apartment. It's our apartment. It's my you rent apartment. It from us. I pay for you it. You lease it from us. No, I'm paying it's for it. It's our property. It's our property. It's mine. Mine and so, yours. It's half mine, half you yours. Know, we're going to find out anyway because we're going to come in and do rotation. We do rotation of buildings every few months, and we will be in, and we're going to find out. What's that even mean? You're doing rotation of the buildings? Right. We can we, have. We do routine. Preventative maintenance, and we change filters, and we go and we check to make sure there's no water damage or any structural. We change our own filters because that's very important to the plants. We can't have unpure air in here, or it ruins them. Okay, I well, I really need to find out, you know, where you're living, so that we can come over and and, and check this out. Okay, it's not your apartment though; it's my apartment, and you can't come in. Oh, you're not coming in my apartment. Yes, we can. We can come There's, in. It's in the lease. It's no, our property. You not unless I give you permission. Let, you get a subpoena or something, maybe you can come in. No, we can come in. No, you definitely Trust can't. Me. I'm not I've letting you in. We changed the lock. In 75. You can't, you can't even open my lock because I changed it. And we have deadbolts. We bolts. will open the lock. We will find a way to open the lock. We will get in. That's we breaking will. and entering. Trust I'll call the police on you. Because it's our, it's our apartment. I'll call the police on you if you, you try and get in. lease it. We, we have locks on the inside, so even if you figure out how to pick the locks, it's locked from the inside, and we have a guard. That won't, okay, that won't stop us, but I mean... The guard know. will stop you. What guard? It's like a bouncer. We have to keep him here to, for the plants. <laughs> you're hilarious. Oh, you're funny. All right. I don't think it's too funny. You know, you're I'm, sitting here threatening to come in my yeah. apartment. Well, you know... Whatever. You're not coming to my apartment. Mm-hmm. Okay. Bye. We'll see about that. Yeah, mm-hmm. we will see, won't we? Mm-hmm. Sure will. Bye. Bye. Hello. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Um. Yeah. I'm one of the uh, tenants in one of your apartment complexes, and I have a flood right now, and I can't seem to get a hold of maintenance. Um. Where is it at? Oh, out on West Street. Which apartment? Uh, which apartment? It's the one near the Boheem. Which physical apartment are you in? Oh, I'm in unit three. 103, 203, or 303? 203. The second floor. Okay. How much water is currently in the apartment? Like two inches. I'm up, I'm up to my socks in water right now. Where at? In my apartment. In the living room or the bathroom? Oh, the whole the whole place, the whole thing. And as soon as I walked in the door. Have you called our emergency pager? Yeah, I tried it a bunch of times. Didn't work. Where else did you leave a message? I sure did, like two hours ago. Who, where else have you called before you called here? Uh, I just looked up you guys' number, right? This is the Randalls, right? Okay. Is Where is the water coming in? Uh, it's coming in from the walls. In the in the bathroom? Yeah, it's overflowing from my fountain. From your fountain? Yeah, I had a fountain installed a couple weeks ago. I think that might be where the problem is. Where, what, 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 what the fuck does it matter? I, I'm, I'm like drowning here in water. Fountain, I just need someone to come over fountain? here. I need you to answer me. Where was the fountain installed? In the living room. A fountain? I don't understand. Yeah. What do you mean? A drinking fountain? No, no, like a you know, like a water fountain, like one of those Chinese fountains with the rocks and the 
you know, pebbles and the water flowing down. It looks all pretty. And and you had that physically installed? They didn't put it in by magic. Did we install that? Did, no, no. I had, I had my own people install it. In fact, I was hoping I could you get them maybe a credit. You need to call a plumber. But yeah, but you guys have twenty four. I'm supposed to have twenty four hour maintenance with my uh, lease. That's what you it's have this here. physically installed in our apartment building. Like I said, it didn't did get there by magic. Authorized? We didn't have it authorized. Okay, can I just talk to someone who's in charge there? You are speaking with the only person in charge here. You need to call a plumber. Right. Why now. would I call a plumber? You guys have twenty four seven maintenance. That's you what my installed, lease says. You're telling me you installed a fountain in your apartment. Yeah. Uh-huh. And now there's a leak. Who authorized this? I mean, who authorized it? I who did. Who authorized that you could put a wall in a, our hole, a hole in our wall? No, nobody said I put a hole in the wall. I put a fountain in the middle of the room. Why would I have to put a hole in the wall? How did you hook up the fountain? What do you mean, how did I hook up the fountain? With, with pipes. Where did the pipes come from? Out of, did they come out of the wall or out of the, out of the they, sink? I just took them out of the toilet. I just hooked up a line to the toilet. That's it. Easy. And that's what's currently leaking? Turn off the water from the toilet right now. Go over to the toilet and turn off the water manually. No, no. The leak seems to be behind the walls, though, from, from, where, the, from where the pipes come in. Go over to the toilet and turn off the water. Manually. I don't want to. I don't want to break anything, though. I'm not a plumber. So can you just send somebody over here? How did you hook up a fountain in your living room? I didn't hook it up personally. <laughs> somebody, the people who brought the fountain, hooked it up. Can I, can I speak to one of the maintenance men there? Someone it's who knows something my about personal plumbing. Personal home. How the hell do you think you're calling someone that is the maintenance staff? Uh, it is well, 2 a.m. and you've called my home. If you've left a message, of course, you'll get I got, over there. I got, a, I got water pouring into my place. You guys are supposed to be 24 7, and I called you two hours ago, and you're taking your sweet ass time, and I got the floor and the we'll carpet. Get someone destroyed. over there. Free water every single day at Oakview Apartments in Green Bay. And I read my contract all the way through, and there's nothing that my landlord can do. Free water every single day at Oakview Apartments in Green Bay. My rent never will increase because I'm locked into a long-term lease. Free water every single day at Oakview Apartments in Green Bay. And I know the landlord would have a fit if he knew I ran my washer for the hell of it. Free water every single day at Oakview Apartments in Green Bay. And I wish I wasn't on the second floor because water's leaking from my reservoir.